Good evening, YouTube, and this is Lehigh Valley 1980. This is my very first video, so welcome to the Broken Arrow Division of the Lehigh Valley Railroad. All the towns are fiction in here, nothing's based on anything really. I just like the Lehigh Valley Railroad, um, and uh, it's built on a 12 by 12 room with mostly three foot shelves, but as you can see here as the building, the two buildings you see here, it is on a 12 inch shelf. That's all I needed for the doorway and for me to put two, two rows of cars in, that's fine for right there. I just want to make nice, nice space out of the space that I had there. Um, the rest of it is between a three and a three and a half foot shelf. So, hmm. It's okay for what the room is. Out of a spare bedroom upstairs that the fiance was nice enough, nice enough to let me have. This <clears throat> railroad does work on MTH and Lionel. I do run the Lionel Legacy system as well as the MTH DCS system. As you can see, it is very under construction. I just started this last year as <clears throat> I left HO and came to O scale. So it's getting there. Everything mostly is second hand, except for a few items that I bought new, but I'm on a budget. So, hey, you gotta get deals where you can get them. This is Main Street. Not much of a town right now, but some of the buildings are in and lit, some are not. Mostly from the stoplights over, nothing's connected as I just put them in there. The road isn't even glued down because I want to get back and I got to get on the table behind the other buildings here the ballast and make back roads back in there behind for deliveries <clears throat> the track is Atlas O minimum curve is 045 in the other corner and I'll show you in a little bit everything else is 054 072 and I have a number 5 switch on the layout you look down here you have the Greyhound terminal which is not connected Gonna have just one little intersection there, nothing big. Um, I gotta step up that end three story building so it matches up with everything else. But pretty much how you see it is how it's gonna be, except for just gluing everything down. <clears throat> gotta have room for buses to park. I'm going to have another road coming in front of that and basically ending in a cul de sac just with a couple buildings and then. At the end here, it's going to have a road for trucks to go into the next part of the layout. You have your main line coming into the sidings here, coming into the yard. <clears throat> Three tracks, all curved, like I said, are 54. Coming into here, this is also 54. It comes down into a number 5 switch, into H&H &H feeds, and... Another building which I have not named yet, as I do not know what I'm going to exactly do with all the buildings, but in future videos, that'll come out. So as you can see, 54 curves. I'm going to put a couple more <coughs> yard lights in, excuse me, <coughs> and we'll light the yard up a little better, get everything ballasted, as I only get very little time to work on it as I drive truck. So here... I'm going to put a tunnel portal there where I cut the hole in the wall. And that's going to be, I'm going to probably do some kind of tunnel halfway through the curve and it comes through here. And in the back there, that's the 045 curve I put in. That's going to go either to a Y or maybe an 054 switch. The main in the run there for the siding is going to hopefully be a cement plant, which I'm going to make out of. PVC piping cut in half and against the wall. So we'll see when they get there. Coming back, you come back to the main line, <clears throat> to the 072 switches and an 054 switch. Coming around, I'm behind the other building to another siding here, which is just a little yard. And Coming to an 072Y where we get those 
the little uh, freight station there. And like I said with the cement plant or green plant back there, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to have stationing for cars to be staged there for the place as well as out here. <clears throat> then we come back. I put a lift out bridge in since it's on the shelf and I have to get in and out of here. And I don't feel like walking underneath the layout anymore. I put a bridge in. It's an MTH 30 inch bridge. All I did was to make the track fit was just put a little bit of cork underneath and screw it fast. Underneath for power, I ran R RCA jacks up into the track. And then for the light, which is right here, another set of RCA jacks which aren't plugged in. <clears throat> up on the wall here is my small collection, but it's slowly growing. Mostly everything is MTH and Atlas on the wall. And let me take the bridge out here. And we have another set of locomotives. Like I said, I'm just starting. So please stick around for more videos. Like I said, I'm sorry, this is my very first video. And I'm very nervous behind the camera. So, if you're looking forward for more videos, please uh, subscribe and we'll see where this channel can go. Thank you and have a great night and thanks for watching the video.